yeah, one of the reasons why I'm down at Gambia now still is because I'm a bridging phone my pants watcher. Then I go down at Gambia on a tour with I Jam and Levi. I am say, wow, that's sweet. <laughs> Long time legend there. All right, I'm gonna have a forward scene. Yeah, man, I'm a forward scene. Well, actually, this is not my first time. I go to Africa still. All right now, me and my wife in 1995, we actually drive a VW camper van from London straight down to Ghana, seeing right through the Sahara Desert. Actually, I'm going to run through some of the country that we drive through, starting from London, crossing over on a big ferry. We call it a roll on and a roll off. That's where we sail right, right on over to France. And from France, drive straight all the way down to the bottom of Spain. And from the bottom of Spain, we cross over to Morocco. And from Morocco, to Mauritania, to Mali, and from Mali, to Senegal, and from Senegal, Come to Bakini Faso into Ghana. That takes us one whole month. See? Rough terrain, but we go there and reach. See? Actually, you know, we spent about over four months there. See? Moving around and roll of Ghana and things. See? So when I hear about this little Gambia thing I go on and now, I have to just jump on a plane and reach there so because my bridging in no say we do the mission there already. You know, see it. So I'm just calling my man in because right now the experience of traveling through Adam the Capad the Africa make it, you know, just nicer. See? Listen to all this sweet string music called Akora. Yeah, these gentlemen been playing this music from very young age to get this very great skill. This instrument mainly played in Gambia, Mali, Senegal, most of the West Coast in Africa. The young man in the white shirt in the middle. His name is Lamen. He named himself Dennis Brown, one of Jamaican finest great singer. Yeah. 
dance dance in the ramana they do grand and do men everybody dance keep on welcome to me dance dance in the ramana rasta man dance 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 in the ramana beach we are walking on. This is the river what separate Gambia from the north and the south side. I'm not sure Gambia may be one of the smallest country in Africa but if anyone out there know the different can tell I say yeah it is the smallest. I pretty much feel it's about the same size as Jamaica I'm not sure myself but if there's anyone out there could tell me that would be great. Senegal surround Gambia. This big river flows through the center of Gambia. Yeah, big separate the north and the south sea to make it even look more smaller. But a big river this. But you know, actually the sea comes straight in. 
you know, I split it. So, I never river I see. And all the way across the river upon that ferry, yeah. I go over where Kunti Kenti, I reach that farm, saying the real Kunti Kenti, saying all them family still live over there. So, I go so I go on there. So, reach that little village, but still we have to cross again, power and little being a boat, a fisherman boat, cross to a little island, the James Fort Island. This you seen, I explained all about them time there. So, take it away, Massey, and you, sir. If you can't understand me, Massey. But everything was finally abandoned in the Gambia in the year 1833. In fact, there were so many nationalities who joined themselves into slavery, people like the Baltic Germans. And uh, then you have the Portuguese, then you have the British people who are said to be involved in the slavery activity, but later on they are the people who stopped it in 1807. So brothers and sisters, if you see in those days our ancestors cannot come over here to fight against these enemies to rescue our people from them, to take them back to the mainland. There was no means of having local boats like this. It was only the Portuguese people who were using their fiber boats. In those days when they come, they have to hide the fiber boat at the mangrove swamps, take the covers of the mangroves in order to camouflage the boat. So that when our ladies usually come over to the seaside to find oysters, because normally when we are at this market, our mothers usually come around the seaside in order to drop the oysters. So inside the oysters, there is something that you can make with tomada, but it's a local dish that we call tomada. So in those days, the only thing that our ancestors can do to retaliate and speak to the Portuguese was just to stand on the saw, speaking to them, pointing their fingers on them, saying, don't take our child away, don't take our child away. It's only retaliation that they do. So when they came, the Portuguese people themselves, they were not very, very confident because they were expecting that any time of the day, people can come from the north or they can come from the south in any means that they could try to come over to fight against them to take their people. That's why these four canoes are fixed straight away to the mouth of the river Gambia, sorry, to the mouth of the jetty here. You cannot come to the island without coming this way. You cannot come to the island without coming this way. This is why when you go inside, you'll be seeing big canons like this. It is facing different corners in order to give a certain precaution towards the slaves that they capture, so that nobody can concentrate them in order to be an enemy to them. So this is why every morning, San Andro, the first master who was named after this fort, he usually posed four soldiers. Each soldier had to stand on the gun for a preparation. In those days, when they stand here to perform their duty, every six hours they used to the arrival of the ship coming all the way from America or from England. Yeah. And in Bristol as well. Thank you very much in Bristol, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially oh, Bristol. Yeah, important yeah. ships that normally come from America to come to the world. After when it was abolished, it was rebuilt seven times, but as you can see the size, it was since we're going to lose it. But we thank God. Um, one of the, uh, the American embassy who is here for the Americans called Tocheri. It's a close family related to the Kinta family here provided something for the island to make sure it is well integrated. I just have to use this as local glue, mix it until it is sticky, put it there for five minutes or ten minutes, it is sticky. I use a stick, put it there, use the cover of the book, put it there for ten minutes when the wind blows it. If you attach it there for it. Okay, proceed. But I'm putting this. Uh, the first room I'm going to show you, this was one of the biggest rooms, one of the rooms which was kept by the family. This is one of the bedrooms, right? The biggest room. It's where they have their main store. Yeah. If somebody could imagine, sisters and brothers, how can somebody kept about 50 to 60 slaves in the small dungeon? Wow. This is why most of our ancestors lose their life automatically. Because in those days, they never identified, they just make them like something. If you go to the 
Christians in the Muslim religion in this area. Yeah, his father was called Omoro Kinte, the mother was called Binta. This why even the seventh generation by now is called Binta Kinte at the age of 89. They just wanted not to forget the name of Kunta Kinte's mother after when Kunta's mother passed away. They named the seventh generation now. different restrain weapon and them type of thing that they used to use them days all gone with we are used gunpowder and them thing there why different Children, you see a lot of children are really around the car, saying, you know, children are always curious all over the world, you know, where you go, saying, you know, like myself, when I was young, just the same, man, vehicle come to my village, me have your peep and look at what I go and see and we like them. But through my experience traveling to Africa now, me always bring a little something, you know, at least me can just peep or something to the window, give them or something, you know, yeah, see there again, car broke down, saying, Ah, they can't stand. But Africa, this we all it, that we make Africa more excited. Trust me, saying yeah. But still, get it going again. Back in the show time again, saying this a one Gambian band. And if anybody outside there, anywhere in the world, a Gambian himself can tell me the name of the band. I me just can't remember the band, but the band is a little nice. Trust me, come like a like a yard band, root car vibes. Say yeah, say yeah, say yeah. God bless you all. Yes, sir. In the meantime, select I rock it once more. You. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, I'll bless. I'll give thanks to the name of our mighty eye. Yes, sir. I'll bless every righteous man. Yeah. Yes, sir. This song will be getting to Mom Bamba on the righteous way. May his soul rest in peace. We appreciate it. Yes. 
Just now. 